Capture on Touch goes beyond a basic scanner driver. It's a full featured software application that allows you to combine scanning and storing your documents in one step. It comes with your Canon scanner on a CD or is available for download from the Canon website and has multiple integrations already built in like a business card scanner app, Scan to Dropbox, Evernote, Google Drive, and more. Note that you may see different integrations here depending upon whether you have an Apple or a Windows computer. Scanning using Capture on Touch is simple. You put your documents in the scanner, choose your document scanning settings, select the destination for your documents, and click the scan button. You can choose to scan in full auto mode where your scanner senses the size and color and quality of the original documents and chooses the correct scanning settings for you automatically. Or you can choose your settings manually. You can scan in color, grayscale, or black and white. You can choose an output size or allow Capture on Touch to detect and match the original document. The dots per inch setting allows you to choose the resolution of your scanned images. A higher DPI means a sharper image, but also a bigger file size and a slower scan. Most black and white or grayscale documents are fine with a 2 or 300 DPI, but for photographs you might want a 600 DPI. You can set single-sided or double-sided scanning. The default is to skip the blank page. That means that Capture on Touch will scan double-sided but skip any blank pages. This can actually be a little tricky because what may look like a blank page to you may not look blank to the scanner if there's a smudge or discoloration, text showing through from the other side, or even a crease. So if you really want to only scan one side, choose simplex. If you choose duplex, both sides of the paper will be scanned even if one side is blank. You can choose different auto straightening. The default is straightening the image to match the direction of the text, but you can turn it off or choose to have it straightened to the angle of the fed documents. If you're scanning a group of pages that have text in different directions, you can choose to have the image automatically rotate to match the direction of the text. The advanced settings have even more choices moiré reduction and gamma settings, but if you need to adjust those, I have to assume that you know what you're doing and don't need me to explain the settings to you. Once you've made your choices, you can name the group of settings and use them to scan another time. When your scanner has finished scanning, you'll see the scanned pages in the preview window. Here you have a chance to edit the pages before saving them or sending them to an application. The top bar has controls for the preview window. These icons allow you to select all scanned pages, all odd pages, or all even pages. You can use this page control to page through the scanned pages and change which one is displayed in the preview area. This control allows you to zoom in and out on the document that's displayed in the preview area. And you can toggle this icon to display or hide the preview area. Clicking on this arrow here opens the document edit window. The thumbnail display area shows all the pages scanned in the current document. On this panel, you can also click and drag the icons to reorder the pages. You can choose a page to display in the preview area by clicking on it. If you right click on a thumbnail, you can see a few additional options, including the ability to delete a scanned page. This is the preview area where you'll see a preview of the currently selected page. You can add more pages to your document by clicking the scan more pages button. And the edit window is where you can make changes to the scanned documents before you save them. 
You can make adjustments to the color, including changing a color document to gray, scale, or black and white. Capture on Touch does have the ability to adjust the skew of scan documents automatically, but you can also fine tune it here. If you didn't select the auto rotate option before you scanned, you can rotate pages here. And click the edit icon here to change the output settings like changing the file name or selecting a different folder for the documents to be stored in. To save the document or send it on to an application, click the finish button. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. If you're interested in learning more about Canon scanners or purchasing one, you can go to shop.usa.canon.com.